Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today we are going to be doing another unboxing and review. So let's get to it. So this company, Artix, I'm assuming that's how you say it because it looks like that's how you say it. But anyways, Artix contacted me and basically they were all like, hey, we make alcohol markers too and we'd like for you to check them out and I'm like heck yeah I'd like to check out your alcohol markers and yeah this is how that happened so without further ado let's just get right down to it we're gonna just take that out and pull this up and it reveals this ooh that's nice so and that's it, nothing else in there. Oh wow, I really like this. So I knew this is what it looked like because I saw the pictures that they have on their Amazon listing. You can get these on Amazon, by the way. Their current listing price as of this video, uh, this is an 80 pack of markers. It is $39.89. I really like this bag and I don't know if you guys have checked out other selections of markers of alcohol markers on Amazon but a lot of the brands out there that are on the um, less expensive side tend to have totes that are like a black canvas and stuff this bag is really nice i mean the feel of it is nice it's got this good binding here the color is nice it's like a denim almost like a gray denim with a i'm assuming faux leather <laughs> but it feels like leather i don't think it's real leather but like this tote bag is just really nice and i think it's a very 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 good touch to set them apart from all the other less expensive brands that are out there. It's got this great tag, you know, with their logo, Artix, and I really like it. It just looks really good. So let's go ahead and open it. Voila! Ooh. So this is really cool, actually. So, okay, the caps, I don't know if my camera is capturing it effectively, but the caps, are slanted and I actually really like that it makes reading the colors easier I mean unless it's turned around like this one is turned around but I mean once you flip it around boom it's a blue gray oh and that's interesting okay so let's talk about these markers and the look of them so like i said we've got the slanted edge on this side and the barrel itself is standard you know the usual white plastic kind of thing um the finish is velvety on your fingers it's very interesting it's a nice feel <laughs> and the interesting thing is is it only has one cap like this. So this is number seven. It's called Cosmos, which is pretty cool. I kind of like that color name. And the other side has the color on it, but no label, which I actually kind of dig. I, I really like how different the ends are. And the reason for that is, is oftentimes I find myself picking out a marker and I don't always look at, for instance, this one has the gray line or the gray stripe right here, signifying that it is the broad end. And this one is has no line, signifying that it is the fine tip end. And I don't always look at that. I just grab a marker and I open. And oftentimes I'll mean to use, you know, the broad tip or the fine tip. And I find out, you know, it's not the correct tip. And I feel like having distinctive differences like this will help me not waste time, you know, being like, oh, that's not what I wanted. I wanted the other side. So I already opened up the broad side and this is our chisel tip. Let me focus. This is the chisel tip, just a standard 
chisel tip. Nice. And then we've got our fine tip on the other side. Standard fine tip. And one thing I do enjoy about this also is not only do they have a number for each color, they also have color names. And they're not like the usual color, like, I mean, most of them are the usual color names, brown, gray, blue, green, salmon, pink, blah, blah, blah. But like, for instance, that one color I just had was called Cosmos. So let's go ahead and get color swatching done. Okay, and here are our color swatches for the Arctic markers. This is all 80 colors. We've got our pinks and reds, and it goes into our peaches and yellows, into the greens, blues, and pur purple-ish. We've got a few purples here, and then into our browns. And then we've got these last few random colors. I call them random because they're in the hundreds, so they didn't line up into any of the previous color families. So I thought that was interesting. So I'm pretty much ready to get started. Really quick though, I have a lot of people asking what paper I use. This paper that I'm using right here is the Strathmore marker paper. And I also use other marker paper. This paper is also marker paper. It is the Express It blending card. I also get a lot of questions about my line arts that I keep like just thrown out here. I just feel like for reviews and stuff, I like to focus more on the marker that I'm using. So this line art was done by me. I did draw this and I drew it on Paint Tool Sci on my Wacom tablet and then I printed it out on my marker paper. So I'm gonna start out with my color 107, which is sand. I really like the ink quality and I really like this color. This is a very nice light brown. It suits this character very well. And I really like the layering effect. I'm not sure how to explain that one. <laughs> Let me zoom in so you guys can see better what I'm talking about. So like, you see that? I just created this nice shadow and it's quite strong and I like that. And this chisel tip has a lot of ink. It is generous. And so I make sure to go in circles. Sometimes I just do straight lines, but for the most part, I try to color in circles. And so right here, I got this shading just from this one color, this one, what color is this? 107 sand. It's both awesome and kind of like, you gotta be careful. If you don't know what you're doing, you may put a second layer down of color that you didn't mean to, but it leaves quite a good line if you let it dry. So this is intentional though, like this is shading. So it's supposed to look like light is hitting right here on on her fingers and then here's some shadow if you're new to markers you just you got to be careful with that and I do think this is a great beginner marker I mean between price and the quality I just wanted to mention that as like a be careful <laughs> and I've said this probably a thousand times by now if you watch my videos frequently but I believe, personal opinion of my own, that you can achieve the best blending effect if the ink is fresh. So an example of that is this is my darker color and I'm just putting in this darker color right here. And then I change back to my previous color or my base color as I like to refer to it as. And I go right on top of it in order to get a blend from light to dark. And then you just kind of like let it dry. Now I'm 
we're just gonna go in really quick. I love doing this. This is just a Jelly Roll 08 by Sakura. It's a white gel pen. And I always just love, as soon as I finish the eyes, I put in my highlights because why not? So I went ahead and I let it dry a bit because I kind of wanted to see how the blending ended up looking after it completely dried. And I'm actually very surprised. I mean, at first I wasn't so sure about the blending in general. Let me bring it closer. But I am very surprised at how much I'm liking the effect I'm getting here. I went from basically this dark pink to the base color that I used, which is just a lighter pink. It's fruit pink it's called <laughs> and so I was able to just get a nice good blend obviously leaving some areas slightly unblended to give that effect of the inner tunneling of the ear and I actually really like it I'm really digging how these markers blend when it comes to hair though I definitely do try to not worry too much about coloring in circles because the streakiness doesn't really matter in a sense. If anything, it actually adds to the texture of the hair, in my opinion. So when I'm dealing with these large open areas, I'm not spending a lot of time trying to get an even bill, which definitely helps because even when you, ha when you have a large open area, it's hard to get a good sort of fill. And this is also where the chisel tip really comes in handy. I can get these nice, flat, broad strokes to really fill in certain areas. And like it kills me the amount of people who hate the chisel tip because I'm over here like, guys, stop. The chisel tip is your friend. It is not an inconvenience. And it's really frustrating because I feel like a lot of artists, especially new or young or impressionable artists, tend to pass up on marker brands that only have chisel tip and bullet nibs and you know there is no brush tip and there's nothing wrong with that but I feel like artists shouldn't fear chisel tips. I just feel like there should be a movement to rather learn how to effectively use them and I do plan on like making a tutorial just to help those who may be struggling out. So that's that. I really enjoyed these markers. Their blending is quite good, especially for the price. The colors on the caps are quite close to the colors you see. And like I said before, they are $39.89 as of this video. So I definitely encourage you guys to check them out. More information on them is below in the description if you're interested. And if you enjoyed this video, maybe comment, like, and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Thanks guys. Bye.